everyone and welcome to the weekly angel reading. I'm going to use two decks today. I was just going to use one, but something just told me to use both. So I'm going to use both and just trust that. So bam! You like that? Bam! I have the daily guidance and the angel, uh, the archangel oracle guides. So, I've done this before, the double reading. So instead of just a three card spread, we're going to do six cards. But it's a three card spread for both decks, and when you do that, you read vertically. So, one and one, two and two, and three and three. And the messages seem to go together miraculously, which is quite amazing. So, I'm just going to focus here and ask for the messages to come through that will benefit everyone this week. The shadow period from Mercury retrograde, I believe, is now passing, which is great. The actual uh, retrograde was over for quite some time. I think quite a few weeks now, or a couple weeks, not quite a few weeks. <laughs> Probably a couple weeks. But there was a shadow period still lingering after it went um, direct. So that's finally clearing up, which is really, really great. And with that, you know, that just really means that things are finally starting to make progress and swiftly start to move forward. In terms of communication, a lot of communication was halted. You may be able to think of um, certain relationships, I know I can think of a few where communication has just been really stagnant for the past few weeks, well throughout the whole retrograde really. And uh, even like I said after Mercury wasn't in retrograde, even after it went direct there was still a shadow period for a few weeks, and now that's clearing up, which is so great. We're going to start December very, very soon, so that's a great start to the month. Um, also, contracts, a good time to be signing things now, because during retrograde, it's not a good time to really fully commit to anything. So now is a great time. Like I said, things are starting to finally pick back up, communications with others, contracts, stuff like this. So let's see what this week has in store according to... The messages in the cards, which always assist us. So for the beginning of this week, that's today and tomorrow, we have Daydream. And Clairvoyance. Okay. Interesting how those do go together. So I'm just going to read what they say here. Uh, Daydream says, <clears throat> You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is the seat of creativity. Clairvoyance to go along with that is uh, Archangel Raziel. And it says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. You see how these mesh and mold perfectly together. Daydreaming. And it's not the kind of daydreaming where you're trying to plan out your future. Because I'm sure we all know that, where we sit around and we try to envision a million different scenarios that are gonna that we want to happen in the future. This is more about finding a meditative state even throughout the day if you're washing the dishes or if you're just even laying down with your eyes closed and focusing on your breathing. This is the time when brilliant ideas and inspiration will come from your higher self into your consciousness here in the human world which is so amazing and we all have clairvoyant abilities it's just a matter of finding time to tap into it and your angels will support you with this if you need extra help with ideas or if you know you feel stuck or you just feel like you need some more inspiration find some time it doesn't have to be this crazy traditional meditation where you sit and own for a couple hours I mean that works for some people but I know I certainly find that daily meditations work it's just it's more about being mindful, I think, in this day and age. And like I, like I said, it works for some people to go on this crazy retreat and get all these insights. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're going through day-to-day -day life, it is quite a challenge sometimes to find time to meditate and to connect with your angels, with your higher self, with the guidance that you're seeking. And the e easiest way to do that is just to honestly take a few minutes out of your day doesn't have to be anything crazy, just to focus on your breathing, close your eyes, daydream for a bit, and you will be surprised at how quickly the messages that you need will just come to you naturally. Yeah, so that's for the beginning of this week. For the middle of this week, we have Change in Direction, which has been coming up for me personally a lot, and uh, Teaching and Learning. 
First thing I want to say about this is that we're all teachers and students. That's something really important to keep in mind because sometimes I think we can easily think that we're just a student and that everyone else is a teacher and they're up here, which is not the case. And other times we think that we're a teacher and other people are learning from us. But the thing is we're always equal beings and we're always teaching and learning. And that's just how it is, really. We're all teachers and students at the same time. With everyone you interact with as well, you can teach something to someone without even trying to teach it. You know, just by being you, you're teaching people so much. And vice versa, right? You're learning so much by someone else. Yes, of course, by the lessons that they try to teach you, but also by them just being their authentic self. Change in Direction says, The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Lots of things changing, like I said. Mercury retrograde's done, the shadow period is done, so there's going to be some changes happening and lots of fast progress, I feel. And this is all possible because somewhere within your being you believe that this was possible. And things are always available to us. Abundance is always available to us and it only can really come to fruition when we believe in ourselves, in our beings, that we deserve it. So that's where it all starts. Teaching and learning is Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind, learn new ideas, then teach these ideas to others. So just keep going on your path, learn as you go, take things one step at a time. If you're working on new projects, again, take things one step at a time. You learn something new every day and you teach something new every day. So just keep doing your thing and stay focused on believing that you can achieve your goals and your dreams. But remember to stay as present as possible. This is currently what I'm working on as well. Because it's so easy to stay future focused. And on all these goals and things that we want to accomplish in the future. And that's so great. But the future never really exists, right? Because all we have is right now. So we have to remember to embrace the moment and enjoy it, whatever it is, no matter where you are on your path, because the beginning steps of any project or any kind of process are so vital, because every step of the way counts. The beginning counts, the middle counts, and the end counts, and who's to say when the end is, right? So even when you finish a, a project, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's an end point, because we're always growing and evolving. And for the weekend, we have Blessing in Disguise, which is always a great card to see, and Patience. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're going to see any delays in terms of new projects, but if something happens that's unexpected over the weekend, just keep in mind that your perspective is really going to play a huge part. It's a key part in manifesting things to come. Because if you start thinking... You know, if something goes off track, it's not going off track, it's just, it's your perception of it. So if you feel like a project is kind of derailing, or I don't know, if something different comes up than you expected, or the timing isn't how you pictured it, I mean, there's so many things, it's limits in our own mind, right? But remember that it's always a blessing in disguise, and... Just don't get discouraged if something crazy happens. Not that anything too crazy, but if something doesn't go the way you see it, don't get too too panicked. Um, and remember to have patience as well with your dreams, with your goals, because things happen at the perfect divine time. And you have to remember that. And it's hard to remember that when you have your own linear view in this life of your timeline, your goal timeline. Uh, that could be for work, new projects, creative projects, but also for relationships. I feel like we get very one-track mind. Very, we think very linear in this world. And the universal time doesn't go linear. It goes circular, outward, eternal. It never ends as a circle. So when you think that you are falling off track, there's really no such thing as falling off track. And things can never really happen at the wrong time either because... In your mind, it might be the wrong time, but the universal time is never wrong. It always happens for you for a reason, and that's the kind of see, kind of thing that you will see in hindsight looking back. You will understand why certain projects had to be delayed, or why 
you know, your, your plans didn't fall through on a certain day or, or what have you, you know, and of course we get discouraged because we get things in our mind, we have a plan many times. It can even be with simple things for traveling, you know, if our traveling plans get delayed, then it throws us off because we are so linear thinking, you know, we're, we're so caught up on planning and sticking to our plan and we forget about our divine plan that we make for ourselves, right? Your, your soul is following essentially a divine plan that you fall, that you planned out for yourself before you reincarnated it into this life. And I've talked about this many times. And that's not to say that you have no control because you do. There are main key points that we have to hit, but of course there are many different roads we can choose in between. And we'll always end up where we need to be at like certain points, you know, like this is a main milestone we're going to have to hit, but you can choose any road you want to get there. You know, there's so many to choose from. So we have free will, of course. But, you know, just anyway, don't get too discouraged if the timing doesn't go your way. Because the timing is always going your way. Things are always happening for you, and you just have to trust in that. And the card, I'll just read the cards, even though I went off <laughs> about um, those messages. Bless, uh, blessing in disguise, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way, which is basically what I just said. So don't get too caught up in this human idea of what's right and what's wrong and when things are supposed to happen. And I know it can feel like, oh, well, this was supposed to happen at this time. But if it was meant to happen at that time, it would have happened at that time. And that's just something that you have to let go of and trust and call on your angels to help you with that as well. And the patience card goes with that this weekend with Archangel uh, Jophiel, and it says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. And this reminds me of what I say, again, multiple times. If you focus on something really, really close up, you can't see what it is. And you get so focused and confused, and you're like, I don't know where I am. I don't know where my dreams are going. You're so close up to stuff, you just don't even know what it is. And you have to take a step back and look at the bigger picture. And that always helps you so much to realize, okay, I am on the right track. I am on my path. I am where I need to be right now in this moment. I trust in that. And your dreams are blooming very rapidly and sometimes you don't even recognize the progress that you've made at all. It's unreal. We always have to take inventory, take, you know, take a look back to see how far you've come over the past few weeks, months, years. It's unreal how fast and rapidly we can grow and how much we can manifest rapidly in our dreams these things start to come into fr like they start to come to fruition and we don't even realize half the time how much progress we've made we're just so caught up in reaching this end goal in the future when really you have to remember to embrace the moment and how far you've come and remember to stay patient because everything is a process and when it comes to living your dreams again it's not about this end goal of meeting your dreams it's always a process that's never going to end and even when you do hit a really exciting point that you've wanted to hit for years there's still life after that life exists after you hit a huge milestone you know so it's not just about the milestone it's about the journey to that and the journey after that as well so enjoy your week guys it looks pretty great remember to have time to meditate just for a few minutes and daydream and just let loose and let your mind free set your mind free because that's when you're really going to get a lot of insights there's some changes during the middle of the week. We're all teachers and students, and this is something to keep in mind. And there's blessing disguise on the weekend. Remember to stay patient with yourself and with others as well. Have a fabulous week, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.